it's crazy to think that 42% of all sales reps feel like they don't have enough information before doing their sales calls. But the quality of your sales pitch greatly depends on the amount of research you do beforehand because you do need to understand people's unique pain points and problems. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use artificial intelligence to generate detailed reports on your prospects and the companies in a few minutes so you can have better conversations and close more. And make sure to stick until the end because I will show you how to create lead magnets, AI generated and value packed that you can use in your cold outreach stage to deliver tons of value to your prospects even before you jump on a call. Let's go. First things first, here's how my calendar would typically look like. My next call is with Artem. And if I go back to my CRM, there isn't all that much information that I have access to. So instead of copy pasting prospects names into LinkedIn and then Googling the company, I can just use this automation. It is powered by this workflow automation tool called Bardeen. And you can grab the link to this exact automation down below in the description. So let's go ahead and click on try it. A Google doc will be generated. We can give it a name. Let's call it Artem. And then I have two options. I can either provide his email address or his LinkedIn profile link. I'm going to go for his email address. I'm going to copy it from here. And I'm going to skip the LinkedIn profile and click on run this playbook. So Bardeen is going to enrich this email and find the LinkedIn profile of the person. There it is. It will scrape it in the background and do the same for the company and then feed it to Bardeen AI to get it processed to generate that report. And here comes our report. Let's look on view. Looks like Artem is the CTO and co-founder of Bardeen that's based in San Francisco. He also speaks Armenian and has started his position at Bardeen in 2020. So he has been at the company for three years now. There's the overview of the company itself, how many employees they have, how much money they raised, the area that they focus in, the industry, automation, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Then there is the company overview. Here we have some details, the location of the company when it was founded, employee count, revenue, funding. Here's the company link. LinkedIn profile and the technology that the company uses. Super valuable. Now, if you do high value B2B sales, it's going to be pretty challenging to get those phone calls on your calendar in the first place. And before you do any cold outreach messages or ask for introductions, you'll need to do tons of research on the company. It will help you qualify the company so that you do not waste the effort down the line. Let's say that we want to pitch our services to a company like OpenAI. Here I have an automation that will generate a company research report in Google Docs, similar to what you saw before. I'm going to click on the try it button, type in their website URL, openai.com. Let's run it. Okay, there is our Google document. And there we have tons of super valuable information. Founded in 2015 in San Francisco, has 500 employees and 3 million followers on LinkedIn. Their product summary, like the API platform that offers the latest AI models, raised $11 billion. Great. Their tech stack, some info about their competitors, recent updates. Great, there is so much context for me to work with. But what if I need to visit specific websites from which I can collect information about companies? This surely cannot be automated, right? Wrong, it totally can. I want to add an additional section to my report with the latest Google News. And in case you haven't heard, Sam Altman has just gotten fired and then he gotten rehired back. I think this will be a really important context for me to have before I have a phone call with somebody from OpenAI. So let's get our hands dirty. Let's open up Bardeen. And here I have our previous automation saved. So I'm going to click on this icon to open it in the builder. A quick walkthrough of what's already inside the automation. First, we're finding information about the company using Apollo. Then we're scraping the company LinkedIn account. Combining all of the data, then we'll go ahead and scrape the landing page. And here's the cornerstone of this automation. This is the Bardeen AI action that uses this company research bot that's specifically designed for the job and it uses all of this information to get our report created. Then we have our new Google Doc created and all of the information gets added here from this other action. And a little disclaimer before I show you how to actually make it work. It's going to be slightly technical, but no worries. There are tons of tutorials about how to use the Bardeen scraper or how to enrich data on this YouTube channel or down below in the description of this video. Let's dive in. To get Google News added to this report, I'm going to click on this plus icon, new action. 
select scraper and let's scrape some data in the background. First, we need to select the pages that need to be scraped. In my case, this is this page over here, forward slash search, and there we have Query OpenAI. And before I create our dynamic URL, I want to check out the link. So first, everything after this variable, I want to delete. And here we have TBM equals NWS. So I'm assuming it's news. And then here I have my query. So most likely what I need to do is turn this part into a variable. Let me try to clean this data up because I'm not sure what this actually means and see if this works. Okay, this looks like a great URL from which I can scrape the data. Let's open Bardeen back up. Instead of pasting the final link over here, I'm going to edit it as text and paste the information over here so that we can turn this part into a variable. Let's delete it and insert the variable that's called organization website. That's the link we're scraping. Then we need to pick our scraper model. And as you can see, automatically, there are a bunch of pre-built scraper templates created. We have Google News tab by Bardeen. I'm going to select that. Let's extract 10 items from Google News and click on done. Finally, we need to send that information to Bardeen AI over here. Create an additional section with the summary and the breakdown of the latest news. Click on insert to feed the data coming from the scraper. I'm going to send all of the variables. Click on done. Click on done again to save this automation. And let's run our updated automation one more time. Let's see the updated report. Scroll down and here we have the new section. Sam Altman has returned as a CEO of OpenAI. ChatGPT has been experiencing significant outages and they're introducing the no-code GPT solutions for personal AI creation. That's useful. And in the nearest future, you'll be able to tell the Bardeen AI identify it, feed it to the scraper because Bardeen will do it for you. That's coming up very soon. It's time for the bonus section, as promised, lead magnets. The easiest way to get your calendar filled up with appointments is personalize and then give people fast value. Check out this video about how to get that personalization part solved with artificial intelligence, but fast value, that's a way more difficult of a proposition. Check out this email. Hey, I'm Renat from Bardeen. At Bardeen, we have passion to create innovative software solutions that make people's lives better by saving them time. It's a workflow automation tool. You can try it out for free. Would you like to schedule a call? Thank you, Renat. Spam. But what if instead we said something like this? Hey, Mr. Prospect, sounds like you're helping homeowners struggling with high energy bills and usage. I couldn't help myself, but I did some in-depth research on your real estate software and some low-hanging fruits to close more clients. Mind if I send you my analysis? These lines were generated using artificial intelligence and we're sending thousands of emails that are hyper-personalized just like this one. And when the folks respond, yeah, sure, I want to see your super valuable thing, it'll take you just one click to generate that report that in theory takes 10 hours to create. Well, not with Verdeen, check out this automation. This automation does the market segment analysis using information from G2 reviews. And here I have my prospect. They have placed there. 54 reviews, 3.5 stars total. Let's copy the URL, click on the try it button, give this document a name, place the report, click on next, paste our G2 product review page, get as many reviews as possible. So I'm just going to skip this field and click on run this playbook. That's my report, let's click on view. Customer service and support. Sounds like there are issues with responsiveness and the quality of support received. Specifically, people say their customer support service is atrocious. They will charge you automatically and no discussion or refunds are allowed. Then we have product and features. Sounds like some people love the ease of use where others criticize lacking certain features such as lead generation and SEO capabilities. There's pricing analysis, there's some reviews. And that value pack lead magnet completely flips the script from, hey, give me your time, give me your attention to your prospects being grateful and being excited to chat with you on the phone. 
Seems like AI is getting more and more advanced with each passing months, and it's crucial to know when to use artificial intelligence and what is better to do yourself and how to actually use it. This is the biggest problem. And this is exactly what this channel is about. So click on that subscribe button, check out other videos on the channel. And if you want to take your sales game to the next level, check out this video next. It's about five AI hacks for salespeople. I'll see you there.